Yo, 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 yo. You rocking with the fresh. It's the cruise review. I'm 4 I Fly. And TP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we back. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna get rid of us that easy. Straight up and down. The illest a and R's in the game. And today we're gonna show y'all why. <laughs> Straight up. Man, I mean it's been, you know. It's been a hot second, bro. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a couple weeks, I would say. It's been a lot that's happened in uh, the last couple of weeks. A whole lot, man. Whole you lot. Know? But I mean, y'all already know where we're going. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you already know where we're going. Th this is going to be a statement review right here. A statement review from bro and I. Notice I ain't start off with me. I started off with bro. So, I'm going to go ahead and say right off bat, man. This right here is definitely our mother year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely our mother year. Yeah, notice I said this is going to be a statement review. And there's a reason why bro made that statement. For a lot of reasons. Those reasons ain't being pointed out by no articles, no journalists, uh, no social media networks or whatever. Um, no bloggers, no no niggas sitting in a uh, driveway in their garage. Wonder where they got that from. Ain't nobody gonna give you what we about to give you like this. This is a statement review. Yeah, and. Is coming out of a place that's not East Coast, on the West Coast, down South, but bringing it back to the middle of the map. Middle. Midwest, man. Middle. <laughs> tell, tell, tell them, where you from, bro? Where you from? Tell them the, the one word place where you from. Where you from? What what did we create? The middle. The middle. Right in the Smack middle. I mean, don't, dead in the middle. Don't don't get it twisted. You know, you know, a lot of people would, you know, they they'll say where where I'm from, Louisville, Kentucky. They would say, you know, this is the South, which I mean, it can be classified a little bit yeah. until you go to the South. Yeah, and they hear your accent. Yeah, you know, then they'll say. You're from the Midwest, somewhere up in the Midwest, because it happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I went to the South and I started, you know, just talking and like, yeah, you got to be from somewhere out there in the Midwest. I'm like, see, that's that's where the clarification comes from. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what you got to add, bro? You know, what, 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 what you got to add to this, you know? I'm 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 going to let the music talk for itself, you know? But uh, this is our probably, what, our fourth, third or fourth fourth time around for this, this artist? Is num yeah, this is number four, man. Y'all know how I feel about the number four. So, yeah, this, you know, this is going to be a real statement review because, you know, I ain't you definitely not gonna get a biased response from me. Not 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 with this one. You know what I'm saying? All the uh the antics and stuff that's going on that's surrounding this, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It it all that don't matter. We we ain't even gonna, you know, well, I'm I'm a I'ma dive in it to it just a little bit, but not too much because, you know, of a record that's on here. But we ain't we ain't gonna, you know, um we ain't gonna highlight that with this review, you know. But like I said, I'm gonna let these records talk for themselves. So, you know, with that being said, let them know who we rocking with, bro. Freddie Gibbs, man. Gangsta. 
Yeah. Freddie Kane. Freddie Kane, man. <laughs> Freddie Kane. You know, before I play any records, I'm going to go off the record and say this is probably the most melodic hip hop album that's came out in years. Probably probably the most melodic ever. Yeah. Probably the most melodic hip hop album ever. You know what I'm saying? As far as album review. Mm, I think the last one that probably came close, you probably have to go with 50. You know what I'm saying? As far as the cadence. But it wasn't like this. So, you know, yeah, this is probably, you know, probably that what I said. But let's get into these records, bro. Yeah. Let's 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 dive into it because we done talked enough. So we're gonna start from the intro, which is couldn't be done. Yeah. Featuring Southside Zone, Kelly Price. Let's get it. Yeah. You feel me? We out the whole time flow, you did. Tell me up. Big Just my bitch step on the floor. Uh, they call me myself, me see here the whisk got that coat. Uh, but niggas see me now, I took the pieces and I flow. Um for well, this first record. I wonder how much of an influence um, Dipset had on Freddie Gibbs because mm. this, the production on this record is is very much um, in tune with uh, like a like a Dipset type type of production. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Kind of like how. Uh, J. Cole started off his last album with the with Cameron. Yeah, yeah. You know. Your reckless on the scene might get me put again. Drop another album, cocaine rabbit got him shook again. That was the one thing that hit me when I first heard this record. Yeah. It brought me back to a, a dip set. You know what I'm saying? Then the title of it. Uh, fact that it's called it couldn't be done you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's like it's like you uh basically you uh you proving people wrong basically you yeah. know what i'm saying like you know people people was doubting yeah. that you know what i'm saying freddie could come you know back out and also in a major label fashion because this album is quote unquote his major label debut kind of album. Yeah. Basically. Absolutely. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um then with you know you know putting put somebody like Kelly Price on it, which Absolutely. you know we haven't really heard, you know. Hip hop side in the wild. Absolutely. I mean, not to my knowledge, but but I mean, with all them ingredients mixed in, bro, I think I would give this starting off probably a solid nine nine point three. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 man. This record hit me right off, man. Uh, probably the most listen to intro this year for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't get enough of it, just the way that it was uh, produced. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything was was high key and, and high pitch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my brother Lopez. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I call him Freddie Gibbs twin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, he him and Freddie sound like like brothers or whatever. You know this this record reminds me of him every every time I hear it, especially when Freddie start you know talking because that's that's how he talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shout out 301 Eats. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check that out. 
on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? It's my brother's spot. Y'all make sure y'all give that some play. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, this, you know, the cadence on this, man, was, it, it struck me, man, you know what I'm saying? Because Freddie don't get enough uh, props for his cadence. He got one of the illest cadence, cadences ever, ever made, ever put on record. You know what I'm saying? And the melodic nature on this, the way that he was, you know, uh, busting through that line of scrimmage, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of, the way he rhymed is sort of like how Barry Sanders used to run. If you think about it, yeah, yeah, I made that statement. <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, that's what it is. He, he rhymed, Freddie's bars is like how Barry Sanders used to, used to run. I used to, you know what I'm saying? Get through them holes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and juke you or whatever real quick. That's that's how Freddie rhymes. That's, that's that's what he reminds to me, man. You know, and then, you know, the addition of Kelly Price, like Bro said, we haven't heard Kelly in a long time. This was the perfect way, you know, um, introduction back, you know, from what she's been going through. You know, she... She's dealt with, you know, a lot, you know, of uh, mental health, you know, got away, a family was looking for, thought, you know, she was missing and, you know, come to find out, she just needed a break from her. So, you know, to come back with a, a record like this and a, a statement record with, you know, a beautiful melodic voice, you know, who, who, who doesn't want to listen to Kelly Price? Kelly Price should... You know, be up there with, with the Mary J. Blodges and the Faith Evans, you know what I'm saying? Uh, her voice is just phenomenal, you know what I'm saying? It got like that gospel church feel to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it just, you know, this this is just a, a, a good vibe, man, you know what I'm saying? This is one of them records that you put on when you about to hit the road to go OT, you know? This is... A, a, a good vibe, man, and everything was phenomenal about it. Like Bro said, it had that, you know, that dip set feel to it. Yeah, I, I, I could hear a remix with this, with, with, with Santana on it. How about that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Bro started off with the 9.3. I'm going to start it off with the 9.6. Mm. I'll go three steps higher. Yeah. So let's get into this number two record off the cruise review picks, which is Black is in the Room. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Al? I think, you know what I'm saying? What? Where would you go? What would you do? Who would you screw? Black forces, so his brain ain't leave a stain on my shoe. It's in the room like I'm Sam Cook at the Copa yeah. Scary niggas, we stick together like dopey soda Put that shit on nation, my calculation, no kosher notion If I say a joint, um, this to me was like a acapella over elevator music Yeah, you know, the, um, the first half of the record um, Which is, uh, beat was used for a lot of the promo, I believe, on this album Absolutely Gotta spit it, cause it's sit on my heart. The shit I think when I look up at the stars. I'm it was just a, uh, when I heard it, I'm like, okay, he used a little promo. But, you know me, I always like the beat switches. So, yeah. when that beat switched stuff, I was yeah. like, man, it, yeah. just, it just amplified the whole record. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Start the drama up. Black suits and black curses, limo service, pick your mama up. Check Love. <laughs> I, it, I like that line he said, uh, bitches be worried about nigga body counts to the count up. Yeah. <laughs> what that? Hey, bitches, they be worried about a nigga body count instead of counting up. Bought the auto with the flow caps from the new pack, got him out of luck. Baby, try to throw the ass out, but I'm fast out, but she was out of luck, then you got to look. <laughs> well, that, that's real, yeah. though. Nah, that's seriously. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just, man, that was just the realest of realest lines, man. Uh, <laughs> You know, Fred. Fred just—I mean, this is to me. This is like—I don't know, man. This—it's this probably a ten for me, bro. 
Okay, wow. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> with this record. Wow, bro came out of his pocket. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the 10. I mean, it was just that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was just that. I mean, I mean, I mean everything. You know, it, it was the elevator music. Then it went melodic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? It was just, you know, they cruise. You know, it, it went elevator. Yeah. Then when the beat switched, it was the perfect cruise ride yeah. around record. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And it just, yeah. Yeah, man. It was just incredible. So I'm going to have to go with a 10, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely agree, man. Um, the cadence and the melodic nature was unmatched, you know unmatched you know the bars more than anything in the pocket that freddie stays in man you know what i'm saying how he breathes through that line of scrimmage is ain't no other mcs doing that man i'm sorry they're not <laughs> they're not especially with a you know a beat switch nah it ain't, it ain't too many mcs is doing that I, the only one that you know probably that we can recognize probably this close is, is, is Nas in. Yeah. You know, with the beat switch. Yeah, that's far, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's just, man, this this is an incredible record. For MC to, to rhyme over elevator music and to sound dope, man, that, that was ill. And this, this has like a uh, theatrical feel to all of these records. Which, which makes the, the album even more dope. You know what I'm saying? Even the skits have a, a theatrical nature to it. And one thing that, you know, Freddie doesn't get enough credit for is his sense of humor. And a lot of people don't know how to take his sense of humor. And that's what I said I was going to get into. You know, I was going to dive into it. Not too much, but just a little bit. And... I think a lot of, you know, these uh, so-called little scuffles and, you know, uh, so-called beefs, I think a lot of them play off of, you know, a lot of people not really knowing how to handle Freddie's sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? I kind of coexist with that because I'm the same way. I got a, a real dark sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people... Sometimes don't know how to take me, you know what I'm saying, with, with my jokes or whatever. Niggas, you know, get mad and want to fight or whatever. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't don't know how to take you, even on social media. You know, sometimes I might throw up a, you know, a, a, a meme and, you know, it offends people because they, some sometimes people just don't know how to laugh. You know, you know what I'm saying? They so serious and, and want to debate when it ain't even that serious, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, I, I kind of, you know, uh, I can kind of understand with, you know, with Freddie, a lot of people don't know how to take him, you know what I'm saying, with, with his sense of humor. But, you know, he, he makes sense of a lot of a lot of things that he says, you know. So, you know, with this record, like Rose said, I, you, yeah, I, I don't see how you can't go with a team. I, you know, you just have to. With the beat switch and everything, for him not to, to miss a step, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. It's just, you know, straight up and down on the rail. But let's get into this number three record. What we got is uh, Space Rabbit. I think it's Lobster. Oh, yeah, Lobster. Lobster. Yeah, Lobster Omelette, my bad. Yeah, let's featuring get it. Rick Ross. Yeah, featuring yeah. Rose. <laughs> Yeah. My nightmares coming true, yeah. but they ain't leave me spooked yeah. On the West Coast counting blues, but I'm whooping with them rules yeah. In my neighborhood, you was either five or six, you had to choose yeah. And folks in there was still in my starter jacket and my shoes When I first seen the title on this record, I didn't know what to expect You know, you, you, know, you review, you know, your track listing And you know, you like, you know, you see the title, you like lobster omelet Mm -hmm. I, I wonder what this gonna sound like then they came in it was I mean the record Freddie subject matter was like let me at my school so I move like I ain't got shit to lose when I get them goons you in the afterlife by afternoon my street it's a street record but it's like uh reminiscing on it you know what I'm saying kind of like 
kind of like how Scarface does. Yeah. And I think Freddie, you know, he get a he he gets a lot of influence so far as the storytelling to me mm -hmm. from Scarface. Yeah. Which he's featured on his album. Mm -hmm. Um the production on, on this was just, you know, keeping it consistent, man. It mm -hmm. I mean it hasn't it, you know, it hasn't fell off since the since the start of this record, man. It, this was just a dope feature and it adds to the other records that um him and Rick Ross collabed on. Yeah. You know, I think, man, I think they probably shot uh probably do some type of E P or Absolutely. something. Absolutely. I, I I was gonna say that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they have some pretty dope chemistry, man. So Yeah. I would like to see that. Absolutely. Um, this record for me I would give it a 9.6. This is another mm. one of my favorites on the album. Mm. Yeah, man, this 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 was a uh, a rich combination, man. Much like the title. When when I seen the title, I, I pretty much knew where they was gonna go with it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Lobster omelet, that's you know, it ain't too many places you can get that, you know. Um definitely can get it in Miami. Might get it, you know, um, Mid Atlantic, Maryland area, you know, DMV area, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my Mid Atlantic representatives and family out there, listeners we got on here. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a rich outlook, so to say, you know what I'm saying? And um, the bars was much like that, like you mentioned with, with Freddie's, you know, his, his storytelling. It was uh what I said with the last record, it was theatrical. Yeah. Like you you could you could make, you know, much of this story up. You could paint a picture in your own mind. You know, sort of like a scene in a movie. You know what I'm saying? And, you can make a tales a yeah. tale scene out of it. Yeah, and you know, Rose, he he Episode. has he has the degree of uh you know, making like <laughs> Like, like casual fly hip hop. <laughs> Niggas come to conclusion, chasing coming concurrent, shooters on the maneuver, really as a deterrent. I'm not it, I'm addicted to diamonds, such a fiend for them watches. Dollars. Say, Rose make you want to go out and get a polo shirt, with, you know what I'm saying, with some male kicks with it, but you know, put might put some cargoes or you know <laughs> beach in the mansion no boy got him a pension pistols board in the panic you can give me my sentence with it you know and 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 still you know look rich or whatever you know he he, he got that he got that fly boy fly boy rap you know what i'm saying to make you want to get fresh but yeah the, you know i i agree they definitely need to collab on the ep together man you know what I'm saying? That that I would love to hear like a five, six song EP, you know, uh, between the two, you know. But uh, I think I would go with the same thing. I think I would go with a 9.6 as well, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would do that. Yeah, so. All right. Yeah, we're going to take a little intermission. A little intermission, but we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to get into this number four record, I believe, which is Space Rabbit. Yeah. Hey, yo, let's get paper and pop them over holes up in skyscrapers. It's King Rabbit, a rabbit, I pull a drug cable. Cocaine City, cold as a dope fiend titty. Space Rabbit with Space Cooch, straight out of Monaco. Space King, Space Saints, Pippin, MJ, you're ballin' them. This record, I, I picked this record because... That's got to be one of the best transitions from one record to the next yeah. of the year right there. Absolutely. Um, from uh, the last record we've done, Lobster Omelet, the way the producer, um, I don't know if it was Alchemist or whoever, the way they transitioned that to this record and it yeah. came in, yeah. it was just it was just incredible. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And this one kind of took it up a notch on the lyrical aspect. It's like one of those intermission type tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
they had to rap it, man, fuck up. They dropped me off, they cut my nuts, and I was down bad on my luck. No Just loved it, man. You know, I like how he shot it out. Uh, eight ball and MJG. Yeah. You know, the space age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I thought that was pretty cool, but... This is a this is a nine point. I would say a nine point four. The me, yeah, a nine point four. Yeah, man. You know the ability of uh, Freddie's MC nature is overlooked. I thought it was beyond dope. Uh, he started his verse off in Sheik Luch fashion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Off of the uh, niggas done started something. Oh, you know what I'm saying? How Sheik Lou started off that verse, you know, and how he started off his verse. That just shows the nature of, you know, him being a, a hip hop head. Yeah, student, student of the game. Yeah, student, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he pointed out on the record, I, you know, he remember how he wanted to be G-Unit and the record label said he sounded like Buck. Who the hell was those a and R? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make a good decision with that, whoever those a and R was, you know. Um, but, yeah, he, you know, how he was weaving through the offensive line again and the transition like bro said between lobster omelet and this you know it just it flowed you know it was like it was like a doo-wop blend tape you know what I'm saying back yeah. back in the day you know that's, that's that's where you know the core line comes in where you know these records you know these switch ups they just you know it's 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 perfectly fed you know perfectly you know so um yeah i think i'll go with a 9.5 mm. yeah i think i think i would go with a 9.5 on that man because you know the bars and everything was you know there so we're gonna get into number five which is rabbit vision uh is that the Wait a minute. I think no number five was P P Y S. Yeah, yeah. P Y S. My bad. My bad. P Y S. Featuring DJ Paul. Yeah, that record definitely reminds me of a UGK track, and not because of the sample, mm, because of just the style of the production, basically. You know, UGK, they always had those um, kind of dirty, laid back type of um, production type records, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, um, this was a this was an unexpected collaboration right here. You know, mm. I wasn't expecting um, a feature from DJ Paul. Mm. I mean, I you know, but it shows how versatile. Well, this album itself shows the versatility of Freddie Gibbs, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know, because he went. He went, uh, I mean, he stayed in his element, but he also shows you he can go to that mainstream level with yeah. some of the um, collabs mm -hmm. on this uh, album. And I think this record is one of those records. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think overall, I, I would give this record um, probably a solid 8.89, I would say. Okay. Living in the old black. 
Cadillac, Cadillac, pills up, hoes down, nigga, four flags. Try to get money out of me, fuck that. I'm on the here for a pimp no more. Will I ever be broke again, nigga? That's a no. Watch this. Man, this is this is one of my favorite uh, records off the album, man. Um, I listened to it in my headphones first. And, you know, I actually got a chance to, you know, go OT, listen to it on the road. I actually listened to it, you know, on the way to Tennessee. <laughs> Shout out DJ Paul. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, man, I love me some uh, melodic Memphis hip hop. I think, I, I think 3-6 Mafia, man, is definitely overlooked. DJ Paul is in, in, in Juicy, for sure. Juicy is one of my favorite producers. He's, he's, he's like my dark horse in production, because Juicy don't, he don't get enough credit. And Juicy, a lot of these producers be sampling uh, Juicy's you know, uh, his vibes and, you know, his, uh, the way that he produced, it's this one thing that, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a bounce. I can't remember the actual one, but it's, it's sampled by so many people, you know, that, uh, something that Juicy created in hip hop. A lot of people know what I'm talking about. Some people don't, but, you know, a lot of people have, have used it, you know what I'm saying? And, um, many have given, Juicy is credit, but some have it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, I, I love the melodic nature from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Even the the background track. I'm not sure if that's Gangsta Boo, but it, it sounds a lot like her. And even if it's not, you know what I'm saying? She created that uh, that vibe on choruses, man. Shout out Gangsta Boo, cause she don't get enough. Uh, credit for that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people overlook her, uh, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, female hip hop. Shout out to Gangsta Boo, shout out Mia X, a lot of, you know, the Southern uh, women in hip hop, you know, that don't get enough credit. I, I see Mia X in concert, you know, with a lot of, uh, there was a lot of No Limit uh, rappers, and there was a lot of, you know, rappers from uh, other places, and she by far put on the best show. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, shout out Mama Mia, you know, all, all the, you know, sexy uh, women in hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know a lot of people overlook Gangsta Boo, but, you know, Gangsta Boo always, she always been, you know, overlooked when it came to sexy, you know, she got her own way, you know, uh, well, sexiness. Shout out her Drink Champs uh, interview too. That was that was really dope. But you know, yeah, that 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 vibe, man, and that um, that cadence is unmatched. You know, DJ Paul is a hell of a producer, man. He don't he don't get enough credit either. You know what I'm saying? None of them do. But you know, like I said, this is this is one of the vibes, one of the bounces you can play with your. You know what I'm saying? Your, your wifey in the car, you know, you can ride to it. You can smoke to it, you know, work out to it. It just got that bounce. So for me, you know, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a 9.5 because mm. like bro said, you know, this, this uh, feature came out of nowhere. And a lot of people, you know, they would think that Gibbs couldn't, he couldn't ride a beat like this. You know what I'm saying? Made from... I don't know if DJ Paul uh, made it. It sounds like it could be Jazzy Faye. You know, uh, at the end of the record, it sounded like it sounded like it was Jazzy Faye's voice, but I'm not sure. But you know, even even if yeah, you know, we know Jazzy Faye is originally from Memphis, so you know, he, he got that he got that vibe too. But uh, yeah, dope dope feature. So we're gonna get into this next record, which is Gold Rings, featuring Pusha T. Got no gold rings, this shit just my main squeeze. Coming to the crib, breaking down a set of keys. This girl got a stress and she got a jail record. I put the rings in the name and I'm fucking up her credit. The judge gave her probation, yet not sent a stomach. Yeah, man, shout out to uh, Freddie Gears for the rapper's rapper chorus, man. 
you don't you don't get too many of those choruses like that in hip hop. Nah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Nah. And and with the uh, the uh, the Biggie the Biggie influence on there, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know you know this is a uh, um, this is probably what a number what two two or three uh, feature with yeah. uh, with uh, with him and Pusha T. Yeah, yeah, probably, yep. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, it's always dope for them to uh, trade trade bars back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, it's either this record or I think the next where he's, he referenced uh, his, uh, his baby mama on that one. Yeah, in case you wet the Instagram and change the number, damn bitch, just thought we was gay. I would've killed for it. Ex nigga got you engaged, that nigga nil for it. Talking about Dex. Yeah, yeah. You know, talking about uh, how he, uh, I guess, baby messing, on well, when he was messing with the girl, then, yeah. And then, what, something, something happened, they end up getting it locked up or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, yeah, and, you know, she erased the Instagram and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, I think this this record is um, one of the more personal ones where he, he, he puts a personal situation. Well, I mean, really, this whole album. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he, absolutely. He puts, you know, this is this is an album's album, basically. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this record, uh, I would give it... Probably another solid nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Everything yeah. about this record was was it was right. The, the feature, you know what I'm saying? The production, the track, the bars, everything was was right. It was in pocket, you know. Push is another one, man, that uh Freddie could do an EP with. Hands I didn't made, waitresses I didn't save. The blow drop off for of bitches who ain't learn to braid. Matured all the sorors and every AKA. Michelle's blueprint showed the error in their ways. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That'd be it'd be a hard cocaine <laughs> EP, but you know, I think it would come out, you know, super dope. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh it ain't really too much to add with this one. Everything was 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 there. Everything. I think I think I would go probably with a nine point four on it. Mm. Yeah, you know. I, I like I like to see Pusha and, and, and Fred do some more. You know, uh, it's kind of crazy how I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't Freddie on Pusha's album? Uh. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I believe so. But you know, I thought it was dope how you know, pushes on here. You know, with 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 both of them. You know, I I, I would believe that both of them would be in the running for album of the year. You know, um, we'll have to wait and see. But you know, this is definitely, definitely, on top of Push's album. But it was yeah. dope to have Push on here for sure. So. We gonna get into this next record, which is Grandma Stove featuring Music Soul Child. Been on the road for like ten years, keeping twenty blicks in a Sprinter van. Shows selling empty, but fuck it, I got my niggas in. Once I had a baby, in your Ian fucked up the wedding plans. We could have been shit between us, but I can fight my demons. I never knew she would lead us to child support subpoenas. This is this is definitely uh, his most personal record on on the album. Absolutely, um, like I was saying, the references and. Things that happened between him and his uh, baby mother. Yeah. On the uh, on the last record. Um, I mean, on not the last record, excuse me, the beginning of the song. Right, right. Um, then also, uh, <laughs> you know, the biggest um, controversy, not the biggest controversy, but, but one of the biggest situations that happened a few months back. You know, everybody know about it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Benny. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, 
Make beef with some rappers, but that's another chance. I smoke a hop to take the pain out. Pull up at your show and hey, your motherfucking stage out. They call me at the box and send some shots. I send some change out. Told but I gotta say, so far as the music thing, album for album, yeah. Benny, you lost, bro. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta point that out. So far as the record thing, you know, to me, you pretty much lost on that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, but um, I think overall, man, I mean, this this record, you know, for for it to be uh, very personal. I would go with um, probably a 9.5. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of the melodic nature and, you know, the R&B uh, connections that Freddie is close to, you can kind of see it, you know. Um, he explained it in a recent interview that his father, you know, was in the Shy Lights. Yeah. He wasn't an original member, but, you know, he basically in it now. But he grew up in the Gary Streets, basically, you know, going against Michael Jackson, you know, singing, you know. So you can kind of see that in Freddie, you know. Uh, you know, he always does like a, you know, uh, priority singing or whatever, you know, acting mm -hmm. like he's a singer, you know. But, you know, the, when I seen the feature, feature music, Soul Child, I was like, you know, kind of like I was with Kelly Price. I was, I was shocked, but. It, um, it meshed well. You know, it was, it, was, it, it was a dope attribute to the album, you know, especially being so personable. I mean, personable. Ah, personal about his father having stomach cancer, you know, that was very uh, relatable to, you know, a lot of listeners, because that's something that we all dealing with with our, you know, parents and stuff, you know, fighting, battling health issues, getting up in, in age, you know. Um, yeah, you know, like bro said, this is one of his most personal records right here, you know, and to do it all, like, his first debut album just shows his uh his recognition as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought that was dope. So, you know, putting those combinations together, I would go to 9.7 because mm. it ain't too many people that could have that kind of impact on their debut album. You know what I'm saying? Um, from a record uh, standpoint, from a hip hop standpoint, you know, be so be so honest and open with it as well. Yeah, so I will go with that. So we're gonna get into this last record off this album review, CIA. Yeah, this is this is definitely a record reminiscent of um, Jay Z and and the Blueprint to me. Okay, yeah, it's one of those just plays sounding type of records. Um, yeah. Did this album on pages ripped out my diary. Confessions and hard lessons killers can find me. I hear the truth around you, yeah. Banned from Instagram, still making millions. They can't silence me. Ex has set me up, a brother robbed me around 2003. Trying one of those just plays sounding type of records. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like how he flip, you know, the CIA. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it made me crack Instagram at age. Yeah. yeah, that was that was that was dope. That was a dope flip. Man. Absolutely, it was. But I mean, um, man, I don't really have a whole lot to go into it. I mean, it is what it is. He was just speaking about um, this. This is his, uh, I would say, his worldview type record. You mm -hmm. know, he was speaking a lot of things outside of himself and what he thinks about or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Certain things, you know. Especially in the community, you know, we all know, you know, the government's infiltration and things like that until, I said uh, until, uh, 
into the black community, so called yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, another fire record, man. You know, absolutely. Um, perfect uh, outro record to you know ride out to, but I get this um, probably a nine point three. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I love the uh the title of the record, man. I think <laughs> you know, it was it, it was funny, but it's it's real, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's where we at right now on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't... Instagram, nigga. CIA, nigga. Crack Instagram Every other post on Instagram got some ass crack on it. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I I recently, man, I I got sick of it, man. I started unfollowing all the. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I, man, I get tired of it's too much. Yeah. It's, every other post is twerking, like you know what I'm saying? What what woman don't twerk? You know what I'm saying? It's like. You get sick of it, man. It's like, come on, that's that's enough. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even want to see it no more. I don't care how bad or whatever. You know, it's like, you know, it's it's, it's too much, man. Even when you ain't looking for it, it's like, man, there you go. You're right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm I'm good. You know, so, you know, that title and, and what he was talking about is so, uh, it's so evident, man. You know what I'm saying? To to see and to understand this is this is what we got right now this is what they gave us <laughs> and it's the truth you know and to be to to kind of be funny with it but to be open with it at the same time you know just shows you know the level of uh you know where where we at you know right now um it was it was pure dopeness, man. Because it's not a it's not a lot of people that you know. What I'm saying, oh, you good? Bro. I don't want you. I don't want you. Uh, I don't want your You know, your daughter end up. Oh, nah, <laughs> nah. Nah. Run up to the car. So. Nah, uh, nah. Uh, I just got you know, home. Yeah. You good. But no, yeah. you know, it's, it's not a lot of MCs that could um, be funny with it, but be you know serious about it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Freddie got that. He has that ability to to you know throw something funny in a verse, but be dead serious with it at the same time. It ain't too many MCs that could do that. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's high key for that. You know, and I think a lot of that um, is overshadowed. And and in a way, I'll be I'll be very honest with you because this is something else that in my life I, I experienced as well and I had to understand that you know it ain't always you you know what I'm saying I, I believe a lot of the dealings where he said you know the beefs and stuff he had some almost deadly beefs and stuff a lot of that was due to jealousy believe it or not you know what I'm saying some dudes in, in women experience it too Sometimes your dealings ain't so much with what you doing. It's, 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 it's a lot with what the other person wish they could do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it's due to insecurity. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of people are insecure and jealous of the way Freddie just, he knows how to be himself. You know what I'm saying? He ain't acting like nobody, you know? Freddie been this way since we, you know, we heard his first record. He been the same way. If you go back and look at his videos, you know what I'm saying? It, it was it was the same thing. So, you know, this ain't something that he just started. Even on his interviews, you could tell, you know, his personality. And a lot of people wish they could be like that, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, personally, uh, I had to come to the understanding that a lot of my dealings wasn't so much me because there's been times, you know, I thought like, man, what did, what did I do? But I had to come to the understanding that I ain't do nothing. It ain't me. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, it's other people, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, 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 I give y'all a little personal view within myself, like Freddie, you know, one thing that I like to do, I like to dress. I like to, you know, I like to, 
to have something new on. Everybody don't look at it like that. Some people think, oh, you know, he, he got new, he think he this, he think he that. And it ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't my uh, initial responsibility to try to find out why people feel like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's the same way with, with, with Fred. So, you know, I, I commend Freddie with staying to himself and to be himself regardless what other people think. Everybody's not going to like you. But I think a lot of that, you know, has to do with insecurity and jealousy of other people. I believe a lot of this, like, you know, uh, <laughs> bro said, um, you know, when it comes to album of the year, Freddie won, you know, definitely, you know, um, it's, it's not to take away from Benny or anything. He's a hell of an artist, but you know, a lot of his music don't sound in, in the pocket as this. Yeah. As well yeah. as other people. You know what I'm saying? Other people wish, you know, that, man, I come, I ain't getting the looks that he's getting or the listeners and people saying that about me. I'm, I'm top tier. You know what I'm saying? But everybody ain't got it. Just because you sound good don't mean that you can look good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't mean that you're going to get the same looks as somebody else. It doesn't mean that you're going to get you know, the same views and, you know, believe it or not, that bothers a lot of people more than what you think it does. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of dudes, you know, even grown men, they, they get jealous at, at other men because, you know, women are more into them. They want to know who's that, Who, you know, oh, how come you ain't looking at me like you're looking at him, you know, how come you didn't give me your number? I, I've been trying to holler at you since high school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, a lot of a lot of men go out their way to try to get noticed to whereas other dudes don't have to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? A dude can't wear a white tee and be clean. And you know what a woman's saying, you know, he's he's fresh and he's dope. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes, you know, they'll throw on a white tee and, and get a ketchup stain on it and, and still think that they got it. Cause they got on some Jordans. Nah, nigga, it don't work like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I'm saying, you know, I'm just making a core, a, a core line between things, you know, um, with Fred, I believe a, a lot of that comes from the insecurity and jealousy of other people, you know what I'm saying? And we, we as black men, we have to highlight that sometimes. And I, you know, I commend Freddie for, for being, always being who he is. Cause he's a hell of an artist. He's a dope MC and he don't get enough credit from other artists and other MCs like he should. You know what I'm saying? We we should we should uh uplift the artists like Freddie because who's to say that he's gonna be around, you know what I'm saying, long. You know, just just off of, just based off of treatment. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with this with this album, it's definitely album of the year. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's only a few more entries, you know, for the next two months. Uh, we got a few more coming from different artists. But right now, it's definitely album of the year. I would go as far as, you know, the whole album all together. I would go with a 9.9. .9. What would you say? Mm. Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go a step step up from that, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and give Freddie the ten. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, cause this, you know, he has all the ingredients of what an album should sound like. Absolutely. You know, and coming from where he was at, being more of a on the side of the underground to coming to the mainstream, and he didn't lose his legs. Yeah. I think he he took all the elements of the past albums he did and he just put it all in one yeah absolutely made a, made a dope uh, uh you know cohesive yeah project made, made a pot of gumbo yeah straight up yeah i, I would agree mm -hmm. yeah man but you know shout out fred you know it's all love over here regardless of anything else you know we we love the music we always been fans you know we we both we still got a 
you know, see Fred in concert. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it might it might have to be our next one, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, dope, dope entry, phenomenal album, man. No takeaways whatsoever. You know. But nevertheless, you rocking with the fresh. It's the cruise review on Four Hour Fly. Eighty. Yeah, we out of here, yo. Yeah. Be easy.